going to buy you at all with the hour we've got coming your way. Right now, I'd like to ask the young Kenny Wayne, the Nightmare, to come out. Nightmare Kenny Wayne, and we have a special presentation. Kenny, as, as everybody out there knows, Marcel Pringle destroyed the TV title belt. Well, we at World Organization Wrestling don't want a champion walking around with a tin can around his waist, so we have had a new belt made. The new belt is laying there, and I want to present it to you at this time, and I want to say this to you. Wear it forever, young man. Well, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to give this belt back. Hey, you wait just a minute. What do you mean a new belt, man? I'm the champion around here. I had to wear that piece of garbage you give me. You ain't nothing but a two-bit promoter. This ain't nothing but a two-bit promotion. And boy, you have done it to me for your last time, and you have too. I ought to be wearing a new belt, not that geek right there. Do you understand? You don't know what you're talking about, and you don't either. I'm the champion. What did I tell you, Rip? What did I tell you, man? Look, hey, get the camera on him. Now watch, I told you, Rip. I told you, man. Ha. Go ahead. Keep that camera on him. Get in tight on his face. Now look, 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 look. Yeah, it's the same belt. It's the same belt. You know hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's his tin can belt. That's right. Yeah. Wait. 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 You ain't gonna do that to me. You ain't here. Nobody got there. You understand me? It ain't over yet, Wayne. He bit the hook. You know. I told Rip and everybody that I was a thinker, and you know, I'm a fighter, but I beat people for thinking. Well, you know, I sat back and I thought just a little bit about what a low-down, no-good coward he really is, and I knew if we put the chum line out here and told him the new belt was out here, he'd try to snitch it. Well, baby, let me tell you something. This tin can belt is just as safe as that new one that's back there in that safe, baby. This one's mine, and I'm going to wear it, and I'm going to look at these tin cans, and, I, you know, it's making me just mad enough well, Mr. Pringle, I'm going to kick your can when it amounts to. And, you know, I'm not going to put up with it. I knew he would go for debate, and I'll prove my point. And I can beat him thinking, I can beat him fighting, I can beat him in a foot race, and I'm going to beat his can, <laughs> if you pardon the expression, and I'm going to take care of him. Now I'm going to do a little business now. You all guessed him indeed. That was great. Marcel Pringle. <laughs> Come on in, Gino Sanazaro. Our first match of the evening will be Nightmare Kenny Wayne against Playboy Pat Patera. Did you see that, Gino? This place went nuts. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't take a million dollars for it, but just okay. Nightmare Kenny Wayne against Playboy Pat Patera. This should be an exciting match. A newcomer here. Pat Patera comes with a good reputation behind him. Let's see what he can do in the ring. I think it's going to be an outstanding match no matter what happens with Kenny, Kenny Wayne in there. And what an hour of wrestling we're going to have. We have a five-girl elimination tag match. The Coastal Connection will be here today. It's going to be an exciting program from start to finish. I guarantee you that. People watching the TV right now, don't look away for one minute. And Kenny Wayne is fired up. I think he thinks he's got Marcel Pringle in there. Did you see the look on Pringle's face? It was great. It was great. I, I was looking for it, and it, it looked... I, like I said, it wouldn't take a million dollars for the expression on his face when he found out that it was a belt that he put together with tin cans that was in that strap. And once again, to no surprise, another jam-packed house here at the Border Street Arena. And that's what's happening all around the country when World Organization Wrestling comes to town. Nightmare Kenny Wayne, the current TV champion against Playboy Pat Patera. Nice arm drag by Patera. Don't forget all you great fans in Mobile, Alabama. Tuesday night is the night for coming back to Expo Hall with the Autumn Spectacular. Going to be the greatest night of wrestling ever in Mobile, Alabama. Make sure you get your tickets early. Kenny Wayne, he's fired up, Gino. He's staying right on top, and I think every minute he's in there, he's thinking about marvelous Marcel Pringle and putting that tin can belt together for him. That feud is long from over. Nightmare Kenny Wayne. Counter two. What a great hour of wrestling action we have, ladies and gentlemen. Mike the Hippie Boyette is here today. Norvell Austin. 
What a great show today. Kenny Wayne working that arm. Great action there in the ring. I'll tell you what, compared to her, sure showing a little bit of wrestling ability there, too. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, going on all across the country, the World Organization Wrestling Tag Team Elimination. It's down to six teams, and six tough teams it is. Jimmy, probably the greatest elimination for the tag team belt ever, anywhere. Nightmare Kenny Wayne. I love what he did to Pringle. He had that plan from the get-go, and he went to promoter Rip Tyler with that, and Rip said, let's go, and that, that proves it. If we were to bring that new expensive bell out here, Pringle's gonna steal that one too, and probably destroy that. He definitely would, that's why he came up with this idea of going ahead and putting the uh, tin can belt that he put together in the strap, feeling like he would come out and do that, and that's exactly what he did. That Pringle has went off the deep end. Referee thinks Kenny Wayne pulled hair. I don't think so. Well, from this vantage, I couldn't tell whether he did or not. Maybe he did. Nightmare Kenny Wayne. Also on the show today, Mr. Olympia. What a great hour of wrestling. Nobody can match the stars and the action that we have here today, Gino. WOW definitely has it all. And I know the fans are happy. Norvell Austin is back in the area. Kenny Wayne trips Patera down to the mat. Staying right on top of Playboy Pat Patera. Goes for the count, gets a count of two. Kenny Wayne working on that arm. Patera down to the mat. Back up now. In, into the corner. Patera, let's see if he gives a clean break here. Yes, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. I'd like to go ahead and mention, too, that Mike, the California hippie, is going to be on today's program. These fans love Kenny Wayne. Everywhere we go. And all you great fans in Nashville, Tennessee, I hope my cold is over by then, because I'm looking forward to going to Birmingham and Nashville and Knoxville and all throughout that great area. It's definitely an area that I'm looking forward to going back to. I've been up there in years. And girls, wait till you see the Coastal Connection today. Have we got a treat for you. And Patera goes down to the mat hard. Patera looked a little surprised at Kenny Wayne laying that on him. And Kenny Wayne is definitely just staying right on Patera. He's not taking his eye off at Patera. Kenny Wayne just jumped right over the shoulder. Phenomenal move. And it's a three count. Three count. Kenny Wayne is your winner. Nightmare Kenny Wayne, your winner, right here on World Organization Organization Wrestling. We'll be right back after this word. World Organization Wrestling is on the road and coming to your area soon. November the 28th, Daleville, Alabama at the Community Center. November the 14th, Valparaiso, Florida at the A.B. Lewis High School Gym. November the 10th, Citronelle, Alabama at the National Guard Armory. November the 7th, Grove Hill, Alabama at the Grove Hill High School. November the 6th, Belzoni, Mississippi at the Humphreys County Elementary Gym. November the 5th, Greenville, Mississippi at the Washington County Convention Center. Saturday night, October the 30th, First Halloween off Alabama at the National Guard Armory. October the 27th, Mobile, Alabama at Expo Hall. It's a big MDA benefit spectacular. October the 26th, Sneeds, Florida at the Sneeds High School Gym. And October the 25th, Pensacola, Florida at the Pensacola National Guard Armory. WOW action will be coming soon to Nashville, Tennessee, Birmingham, Alabama, and Knoxville, Tennessee. So don't you dare miss the World Organization Wrestling in your area. 
Santa Rosa Nissan. At Santa Rosa Nissan, October is truck sale month with special allocations in stock that must be sold by month's end. So we're doing what it takes to move them out. Buy a new 87 Nissan hard body truck for as little as $67.97. Or choose payments as low as $149.82 per month. Get discounts up to $1,800. Come to Santa Rosa Nissan today and drive out in a new 87 hard body truck for as little as $149.82 per month. Santa Rosa Nissan deals. Oh, these headaches. I can't even concentrate. Hello, I'm Dr. Ray Case, owner and director of the Long Chiropractic Clinic in Sarah Land. We have three doctors and four professionally trained assistants, along with modern state-of-the-art equipment and facilities to better serve you. If you have any of the complaints just mentioned, please give us a call at 675-5407. That number is 675-5407. Any questions out there? Why is it that nobody sticks up for what they believe anymore? How come people can't accept me the way I am? Why are so many kids today committing suicide? I work hard. I've got two jobs. So why can't I make ends meet? Mom and Dad are always fighting. But how can I forgive this drunk driver who ran over why my Why do I girl? feel like I'm on the outside looking in? The new 700 Club for answers that hit home. Judy Lynn Knoll of Tomball, Texas, writes. We were driving very late, perhaps 2 a.m. We were coming around a slight curb when we both saw it, an animal. It must have been an animal. Its bottom half was that of a wolf, complete with tail. The upper half was more man-like, although still covered thickly with fur. Just before it ran into the woods, it turned its head and looked at us over its shoulder. I would like to forget it, but I can't. I don't need anyone to prove to me that it exists. I know that it does. I just want to know what it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, right now, let's join World Organization Wrestling President Rip Tyler with a special presentation featuring Bob Sweetan and the Special Olympics. Let's take a look at that film right now. You know, after spending 27 years in wrestling business and all over the world, people who live an everyday nine-to-five life don't understand the life of a wrestler. A wrestler is an egotistical person, self-centered, self-driven, and most of all, the most competitive people in the world. A few weeks ago, there was a magazine article in the newspaper article about Bruiser Bob Sweetan. I have no friends was the article byline. You people now, if you look behind me, Bruiser Bob Sweetan is working with some of the Special Olympic kids. Bob is taking these kids through the county, state, and district meets in weightlifting. You know, it's a funny world where a man says he has no friends, and yet Bob's friends and Bob's endeavor include the kids from Special Olympics. We at World Organization Wrestling are proud to, to have people of Bob Sweetan's caliber with us. We're proud to have him as part of our organization. But above and beyond that, we're proud to be involved with the Special Olympics and going conti to, to continue to be involved for a long period of time. I have with me now the district lady, and she's very shy and won't stand up here and talk to me. And Cindy, Bob's going to take these kids through county, is that right? Yes, the county competition's in November. Okay. Then we have district competition, which will be in December. Okay. And then state competitions in February. Right. Now, this is all in Escambia, Florida, so you people out there watching World Organization Wrestling, all you people all over the country, come down and support the Special Olympics during these district, county, and state meets. Come down and watch your kids at Bob Sweet Tanner's training and watch what improvement these kids have made because I think he's got a couple of winners back there, don't you? I think so, too. Smile when you see it. Okay. Okay. Now, as I've said before, the wrestling business is a funny game. The world's a funny place. Self-centered, egotistical, self-driving, whatever the descriptive is. A nine-to-five man, professional wrestlers or not. But as life goes on, and a man named Bob Sweetan, who at one time said he had no friends, and I've watched him go through this now for the past couple of months with these young people. Goes to show you that a guy goes and gets in the ring at night as a competitor. And the hardest thing about the professional wrestling business is being able to credit yourself as being a sportsman. It's a very hard thing to do, ladies and gentlemen, in this day and time. We at World Organization Wrestling are one thing. We're competitors, we're individuals, we're sports people. We're sports oriented and we're interested in the communities where we're at, and we hope you fans out there realize 
than in the upcoming months and weeks and years of World Organization Wrestling and our community involvement. There's two things I want you to keep in mind. When the bell rings and a wrestler steps into the ring, judge the man for what he is. Judge the man for what he can be. And judge him for being there because a lot of people wouldn't be there. I'll say one other thing about this and then we're going to go back to our regular programming. For you people out there who have never been to the Special Olympics or never participated, one of the most rewarding things that we at World Organization Wrestling have ever got involved in. We hope in the future that you fans sitting out there will get involved with the Special Olympics in your area, whether it be in Escambia County, Florida, or where it be in, in Nashville, Tennessee. Get involved, ladies and gentlemen, because it's a worthwhile cause, and there's a lot of great kids out there you'll never get the opportunity to meet if you don't go to these Special Olympics and support them. Now, if I sound like I'm begging you or pleading with you, I am. It's a very, very important thing a very, very worthwhile cause, and these people that work for it are all volunteers, and I'll tell you this, boys and girls, you'll never enjoy yourself any better than you will when you see these young people compete. And I'll tell you this, always watch for us, and watch our involvements. Now back to the program. Welcome back, wrestling fans, and in the ring now, Mike the Hippie Boyette and Norvell Austin, and what a reaction Norvell Austin got when he come out of that dressing room. These fans love Norvell. Well, we got two ring veterans in there. Should make a real good match. And I'm curious to see the outcome of this one. It's going to be a good one. And, and something the TV audience didn't see, wild man Don Fargo brought Mike the Hippie Boyette out to the ring. It was a drop kick by Norvell Austin. I'll tell you what, I, I don't know what's with Don Fargo. He seems to be picking up a big body slam by Norvell Austin. Goes for the cover, count of two. Norvell Austin back at World Organization Wrestling and the fans are happy to see him. He'll be on all the cars throughout the area, whether it be Greenville, Mississippi, coming up real soon, Panama City, Florida, Nashville, Tennessee, wherever we go, Norvell will be there with us. Well, I know that Norvell has got a large following in the northern states out of the state of Florida, such as Tennessee and Kentucky, and we're headed that way also. And the people out there viewing us, Norvell Austin will be coming your way. It makes me wonder, though, what Boyette had Don Fargo coming out to the ringside with him for. Uh, a lot of the people didn't see it on the on the, on camera, but uh, Don Fargo definitely brought Mike the California Hippie out to ringside. I have seen this match in Georgia before, and it was a main event. I'll tell you what, they aren't wrestling slow out there right now. Both of them digging for whatever they can get. Hippie Boyette on top of Norvell Austin. A punch to the face. Referee Ray Hall telling Boyette to open the fist. Flips Austin over. Grabs a front chin lock. Boyette is, is, is um, not one to take lightly for sure. No, the years that he's had in the ring, he's a real ring veteran. You can't take him slightly. Norval Austin seems to have the upper hand at the present time, but he's going to need to stay on top of him in order to hold that position. Norville Austin, one of the most popular wrestlers in Southeast wrestling history, I'd have to say. He's been probably one of the biggest money-making drawing cards in all the arenas across the Southeast. Speaking of that, the two boys will be out in the next match of the Coastal Connection. There's some box office. Uh, they're, they're, they get a reception everywhere they go that's unbelievable. The girls love the Coastal Connection. Norvell Austin, Mike the Hippie Boyette. Norvell working on the wrist. Boyette punches him again. Norvell working on that wrist. The fans 100%. Behind Norvell, backs him into the ropes, across the ring, and Austin goes down. Boyette, up, over. A beautiful takeover. Beautiful, beautiful arm drive. Another one. Norvell Austin is definitely staying with him. Norvell's working on that arm, like a smart wrestler does. Gets that one part of the body and wears it down. Work on one section, break it down, and then conquer. 
I'm real excited to see that five girl elimination match. Never before on TV. It'll be definitely the first time for TV viewers. Don't leave your seats. If you've never seen a five girl elimination, it's coming up. We're the promoters of World Organization Wrestling. Come up with these ideas and matches. Just the greatest, just the best. Mike the hippie boy yet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bob Holly's at ringside. What's he doing down there? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. First was Don Fogger out here earlier with Boyette. Now it's Bob Holly out here. Seems like he's just cheering him on. I don't know what what he's there for. He, I know he doesn't have a manager's license. Now Holly has no business being there at ringside. He has no business. What's going on here? Norvell and Boyette. Norvell. Another hit. Big elbow to the top of the head. Norvell backs him in the corner. Throws him across the ring. Up with a big boot. Ooh, kick right to the face. Right to the face. That hurt. That hurt bad. The hippie is conversating with Holly. There's a little bit of talking going on there at the side of the ring. Don't know. And what are they talking about? Austin. Austin done. I, and for three count. No, no, Austin wins this one. No, no, Austin. Holly sure missed up. Well, Bob Holly cost him the win there. Austin the win, your winner, Norvell Austin. We'll be right back after this word. Well, wait a minute, we might stay on. What's this confrontation here? Keep the cameras rolling, Marshall. Wait a minute, Holly turns on Boyette. Holly turns on Boyette. Wait a minute, a big knee. Holly, stomping, kicking. Wait a minute here. What's, what? This guy's a maniac. Something's wrong here for sure. There hasn't even been a, a, a match signed for this. Well, Holly caused him to be beat, and now Holly's taking it out on Boyette, and it's his fault. Wait a minute here. A big one. Mike, look at this. This place is going nuts. Boyette on top of Holly, punching away. Wait a minute here. This Holly's got off the deep end. The high backdrop. Hey, Mike Boyette's showing Bob Holly what the what for is. Wait a minute. Mike Boyette, who may have lost the match, but he's left standing in the ring. We'll be right back after this word. World Organization Wrestling this Sunday at the Pensacola National Guard Armory. The fabulous Fargos versus the Coastal Connection. Bob Holly up against Mike Boyette in a no DQ TV title match. Marcel Pringle versus Kenny Wayne, plus other great matches. And Tuesday night in Mobile at the Expo Hall, it will be Don Fargo versus Bob Sweethand and a six wrestler handicap match. Two men, four ladies, all will be in the ring, plus a full card. World Organization Wrestling Sunday in Pensacola, Tuesday in Mobile. Tuesday night, October 27th, Muscular Dystrophy Spectacular, Mobile, Alabama, Expo Hall. Tuesday night, this is Sean, this is Ronald, the MD representative, Norvell Austin, Ron Starr. Right on, I tell you what, I got Ron Starr, and he's a heck of a man, you know. He's the former North American champion, and everywhere he's been, he's done been champion. Now, my motto is, I like to fight champion because that's where the money is, and I ain't been to Mobile in a long time, and I'm coming to Mobile in flying colors. And I'd like to say hi to all of my fans, and I'll see you in Mobile on the 27th on the cruise tonight. Wrestling returns to Mobile, the coastal connection against the Fargos. Right. Fabulous Fargos, come to Pensacola, you big, and you are bad. We we'll see these fans behind us. That means we are big and we are as bad as you guys. Ain't that right? Nikki Leathers. That's right, you know, I'm the newest member of the Coastal Connection. Tuesday, October 27th in Mobile, Alabama. Fargo's, you better watch out, baby. We're coming for you. It's MD night. The Coastal Connection fired up. We got all these people behind us. Yeah, let's hear it. MD. What a night it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. Tuesday night, October 27th, Mobile Expo Hall. Great wrestling action returns. Help benefit muscular dystrophy. Tuesday night, Mobile Expo Hall. We'll see you there. Right. That's right, baby. We'll see you there. Okay. 
Mike the Hippie Boyette is here at the podium. Yeah, I want to tell you something. If that's your champion, I want a piece of him. I want to see this. I want a piece of him. If I want your champion, I want him. Oh, well, there you heard it from Mike the Hippie Boyette. And there's the music. That can only mean one thing. The Coastal Connection is on their way. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, look, guys, you are the future. You are the Coastal Connection. You understand that? You guys can do it. You're the ones that can do it. Look at the experience you got here. We know you can do it. You got to know you can do it. Is that right? That's right. Let me hear yeah. you say it. That's right. Come That's on, right. guys. That's right. That's right. Fire up. Now is the time. Man. You understand that? Yes. Yeah. Come on, to give you us got some advice. You got to believe in yourself. We, you know, we believe in it. Now you got to believe in yourself that you can do it. We know you can do it. Now get out there and do it. Win. Win. You can win. There's nobody can stop you. You guys work together. You're a team. You're the Coastal Connection. Nobody can stop you. Mm. Just keep in there and dig, dig, dig. Now all let's right? go to the ring and show them. When that going gets tough, baby, get going. That's all I can say. The Coastal Connection. David Sean Baxter and Nikki Leathers. And these people love these boys. And in the ring against them today, Bob Hall and Killer Gaddafi. Coastal Connection looks fired up, Gino. They're definitely ready. They came in fire, and the people know that they're ready, and they're behind them 100%. I don't care what you say. I'd put these Coastal Connections in the ring with any of them. They'll go head to toe with any of them. And I think you're going to have some formidable competition today with Bob Hall and Killer Gaddafi. Gaddafi definitely saying his prayer for the match. I don't know if it's going to do him any good or not, but he seems to be ready too. The Coastal Connection, and they love these guys. David Sean Baxter and Nikki Leathers, right here on your best hour of wrestling, world organization wrestling. Baxter gets Gaddafi in the ropes and backs off. Listen to this crowd. They love these guys. What a beautiful takedown. Be and another one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sean Baxter is hot tonight. <laughs> and Kadarvi doesn't know where he's at. David Sean Baxter. Gaddafi tags out to Bob Hall. And Sean Baxter tags out to Nikki Leathers. Nikki Leathers, one half the coastal connection. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful! Great on drive. These boys are fired up. Yep, this coastal connection is gonna go a long way. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if they didn't come out on top in the competition for the WOW Tag Team Championship. I'll tell you, every time you think the coastal connection is down or hurt or in trouble, they always seem to find that little extra reserve to, to come right back firing at their opponents. Just like that, they utilize them ropes. They utilize that whole ring. They wrestle good together as a team. David Sean Baxter in the ring with Bob Hall. Reverses whips. Goes for the arm. Up and over. Beautiful yeah, drop kick. kick. Great drop kick. Beautiful. What a match. Every match is a great one today so far. It's going to be that way all the way through, Chris. I don't know why. It surprises me week in, week out. It just gets better and better and better. And uh, it's just the best. You think they can't top what they're doing, and they surprise you again. That's great talent. The greatest around, W.O.W. Bob Hall in the ring with young Nicky Leathers. And the Coastal Connection. They'll be coming to Greenville, Mississippi, Nashville, Tennessee, all over the World Organization Wrestling Network. Getting a lot of cards and letters from the Birmingham area. We're coming that way also. Keep an eye out for World Organization Wrestling when it does come to your area. But the greatest in wrestling, it is the WOW, World Organization Wrestling. Gaddafi with a powerful slam. Killer Gaddafi, one tough individual. But Nicky Leathers goes over, go for the pin. Counter two, almost had him. Almost had him for the three count. I think these fans are going to like Nicky Leathers. 
The Coastal Connection tags out to Baxter. Baxter's rocking in the wheel and throws him across. Up and over him, high backdrop. Horrible backdrop. Count of two. Gaddafi's gonna keep coming at you, that's for sure. There's no slowing Gaddafi down. He wants titles too. He likes that money and he Pulled knows by the, the hair there. The only way he's gonna make that top money is when he matches and he knows it. All right. <laughs> David Baxter setting this crowd on fire. There goes, brings Hall into the ring. Setting him up for the big suplex. Whoa, whoa. Down to two. Referee Ray Hall staying right on top of the action there. Ray Hall is definitely one of the better referees that we do have in the WOW. Does a fine job. Double elbow. Oh, Nicky Leathers down with a big elbow. Down to two again. Hey, this Hall's a game game wrestler here. Bob Hall's been around for a long time, and, and I tell oh, you. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful execution by Nikki Leathers. The Coastal Connection. And ladies and gentlemen, will they come to your town? If you see their name on the marquee, get your tickets early, because it's going to be a packed house. I hope Don Fargo's looking on at this Coastal Connection, because there's someone to reckon with. Well, the fans are getting behind the Coastal Connection now. You can hear them clapping. And to go ahead and beat Hall. Let's see if they do it. And the people are lined up outside again this week, Gino. Well, uh, they're going to have to get here early. To get here. What a beautiful execution! Beautiful! Count of three! Up and over! What a great win here by the Coastal Connection! What a great win! We'll be right back after this word. Now, more than ever, leasing is the best alternative. The new tax laws have increased the cost of ownership dramatically, both business and personal. Executive Leasing is Mobile's own independent leasing company. Lease your next car, and at tax time, you'll be glad you did. The table is set for a spiritual feast for the entire family at Thanksgiving camp meeting in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Four services daily include a time of prayer led by Jim Rents, co-pastor of Family Worship Center, followed by a camp meeting message from evangelist Don Brankel. Each afternoon, you'll hear from veteran missionary Dr. Charles Greenaway. Then, every night, evangelist Jimmy Swaggart will be ministering. Make your plans now to join us for Thanksgiving Camp Meeting 87. There's only one way to appreciate Zenith's 27-inch stereo television with breathtaking sound by Bose. Go hear it. Zenith and Bose. Quality. Now through October 31st, get $200 trade-in allowance toward the most advanced television in the business. The Zenith Bose Color TV with Teletext at Netzel's TV, 57 North Section Street in Fairhope. Mr. President moves to Saturday night. This could be the worst crisis since the Bay of Pigs. Well, why didn't I know about this? Well, to enable you to say afterwards that you didn't know anything about this. But I didn't know anything about this. You see, sir, it's working. <laughs> Then, on the new Fox series, Women in Prison, Chu Lin is on the warpath. Love! She's big, and she's bad. Her name's Chu Lin. She doesn't look trainy. It's an all-new Saturday night on Fox Weekend Television. Saturday, on the new adventures of Beans Baxter. Golly, he's possessed. Someone's using music to turn kids into <laughs> zombies. Only one man can stop it. All right, you little wimp, snap out of it. You Beans Baxter with rock star D. Snyder. Now Saturday nights at 8 on WPMI. Here I am with Don Fargo. Ken Timms, but what are you up to now? Well, I want to have something to say here. They'll just be a little quiet here. The Fargo name has been in a wrestling business for 65 years. My father, myself, my brothers, my cousins have all carried the name of the fabulous Fargos. This name has been well known in the past and is still well known today and it's going to be well known in the future. You people, 
know these two young gentlemen here as the original blondes. But that is not it. These men are great wrestlers, and now it's time to come out for the truth. I've waited, and now is the time. These boys are my nephews, and they are carrying the name as the fabulous Fargos, and the Fargos are back, and they're here to stay. The fabulous ones are here. So these are no longer the original blondes. They're known, and you better remember, and remember good, the fabulous Fargos. The fabulous Fargos. Ladies and gentlemen, that man is bonafidely nuts. Well, I guess that's Ken Fargo and Pat Fargo and Don Fargo and let's go to the ring. There's the music. I think this man knows his name. Mr. USA, Bob Sweetan, coming to the ring now. Well, Chris, it looks like we're going to have another great match, and the people feel it, and they know it. They can feel it in the air. The Natural Blondes, not no longer known, the nat as, known the, as the Natural Blondes, is going to be the fabulous Fargos. Says that they're his nephews. It could very well be. He wants to be called the fabulous Fargos, so I guess from here on out, we'll call him the fabulous Fargos. Give me a break. Well, you heard the man. It's, uh, he came up here and he said they reference one of the other 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 names, and they've been known as the Natural Blondes. And from now on, he wants them to be known as the Fabulous Fargos. So, what can we do? We've got the Fabulous Fargos in there, and the Fargo name has been around for a lot of years. Well, I guess we have Pat Fargo and Ken Fargo and the Fabulous Fargos. In the ring with Steve Atkinson and Bob Sweet's hand. I'll tell you what, they're, they're off to a flying start here. Ooh, what a close line. One Fargo passing out to the other Fargo. On bar and take down. And another tag out. I'll tell you what, they're working teamwork. It's a tag team combination. that may have to be reckoned with here in the future. Bob Sweetan wanting to get in awful bad, wanting his partner to get over to tag to him. The fabulous Fargos. Whoa! Pat Fargo laid that one in big time. Big boot. Tags out to Ken. Working on that arm. Quick tags, big elbow to the back of the neck. I have to say something though, these blondes, whatever the name is, Fargo or whatever, they seem a lot more aggressive, a lot more nasty. Well, I think that's because Don Fargo is right there beside him and telling him every move to make. He's definitely coaching him and a lot of tagging in now, a lot more tagging than they have done in the past. Now, this Steve Atkins is not a little guy either. He's a good sized boy. Let's tag Sweet Tan. Sweet Tan in now. Sweet Tan gets the tag. Wait a minute. But the referee didn't see it. Oh, come on. According to the referee, Steve Atkinson, the le legal man in the ring. Well, I, I, I believe there was a tag there, but the referee can't see everything that takes place in there. And he just uh, made the man come back in the ring, made Bob Sweetan get back out. Bob Sweetan wants in that ring real bad right now. They got Steve Atkinson in some sad shape. Steve Atkinson in bad trouble. He needs to get over and tag. The fabulous Fargos. This man is a bona fide lunatic. He has truly... I'll tell you what, for the people who believe that uh, things come around twice, this may be it right here with the, with the team of the fabulous Fargos. Sweet hand in. Close can across. Down with the big arm. Now he's working on Pat Fargo. Pulls Pat Fargo into the ring. 
A meeting of the minds. He beat up a drop kick. All right. Again. They got Sweet Tap back in the corner. Double teaming him. Throw Sweet Tan across. A big boot. A big boot. Sweet Tan tags out. And comes Atkinson. Backs Ken into the ropes. Across. Beautiful drop kick. Good. There you go again. The, well, what is Pat Fargo doing in the ring? Into the ropes. Reversal. High back drop. Yeah. And a cover by Atkinson. All four wrestlers are in there. Pat Parker, I don't believe there was a tag made. I don't believe there was a tag made. If you would have asked me a week ago about this Ken and Pat Fargo, I'd have said they were one of the... Wait a minute, one, two, three. One, two, three. However, I'm not so sure the legal man was in the ring. Nevertheless, your winners here on World Organization Wrestling, the fabulous Argos. We'll be right back after this word. World Organization Wrestling this Sunday at the Pensacola National Guard Armory. The fabulous Fargos versus the Coastal Connection. Bob Holly up against Mike Boyette in a no DQ TV title match. Marcel Pringle versus Kenny Wayne, plus other great matches. And Tuesday night in Mobile at the Expo Hall, it will be Don Fargo versus Bob Sweethand and a six wrestler handicap match. Two men, four ladies, all will be in the ring, plus a full card. World Organization Wrestling Sunday in Pensacola, Tuesday in Mobile. Pensacola National Guard Armory, tomorrow night. Marcel Pringle, you're there. Kenny Wayne, you stooped on all, line, all time low tonight, brother, on that television, what you've done to me. They don't nobody do that to me, brother, and get away with it. Ain't nobody never done it, and ain't nobody gonna start doing it now. You gonna pay a little price to me, son, at the National Guard Army tomorrow night, Pensacola, Florida. You ain't never gonna do that to me in front of all of these people and all them idiots out there. And in Mobile, if there's anything left of you after tomorrow night, the 27th, I'll clean you up in Mobile, Alabama. Mike, the California hippie, you are in Pensacola tomorrow night. Yes, sir, you know, and you know what? This is going to really be happy. You saw what happened. Everybody saw what happened right on TV. They just, you just saw it. Huh? Bob Holly, the W.O.W. champion. Baby, <laughs> he's all mine. He's all mine right here in Pensacola. Yeah, send me that. Bob Holly, let me tell you something. I'm going to make you wish you ain't never seen a wrestling ring. Let me tell you, I know you're good or you wouldn't have that strap. But baby, you wrong. You wrong. When you stick your nose in my business, you are in trouble. <laughs> Tomorrow night. National Guard Armory, Pensacola, Florida. Here's the one we've been talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Five-woman elimination match, and I don't think this has never been seen on television before either. It's going to be sim single competition. You can tag out to anyone. If you offer the tag and the girl doesn't take it, you're automatically out of the match. You must wrestle whoever you tag out to. Monique Dubois tags out to Angie Manelli in there with Tina Starr. Big slam. Manelli tags out to Cookie Carlisle off the second rope, punch to the head of Tina Starr. Cookie Carlisle, and she's one mean tough cookie if you ask me. She definitely is. She's a newcomer to the WOW World Organization Wrestling, but she is sure showing her way around in that ring. Wait a minute. Star caught Monique Dubois. Star caught Monique Dubois. And Monique has been eliminated, which leaves Cookie Carlisle, Angie Minnelli, Kathy Masters, and Tina Starr. Beautiful arm drag by Tina Starr. Whips her across the ring. Angie Minnelli. T 
Ina Starr throws her in. Minnelli flips over, grabs her. One, two, three. One, two, three. Tina Starr has been eliminated. Leaves it down to Angie Minnelli. She can pick her partner. Well, well, she's picking her opponent, but she's picking her partner, Kathy Masters. Wait a minute here. Kathy Masters has been her partner. What's going on here? She sure has been a partner in the past. I don't know what's coming on. What is going on here? Manelli, you would have thought, would pick Cookie Carlisle. What's... And she tags out to Cookie Carlisle. Well, Manelli and Kathy Masters are former women's tag champions. What's going on here? Manelli picked Kathy Masters to wrestle her. I... Uh, I can't visualize the better, what's in the back of her mind and making that tag on or calling her in. And Cookie and Manelli are, are tagging out quite frequently. I bet Kathy Masters is wondering what the heck's going on. She didn't want to wrestle her partner. Well, even the fans are a little bit stunned on what took place. You can see that they're sitting there in bewilderment. What's going to take place next? Wait a minute. Cookie Carlisle's in here. They're double teaming on Kathy Masters. Wait a minute here. What's going on here? They're setting her up for Ah, double suplex. Wait a minute. Kicking her. Manelli is double teaming her tag partner. Again, another double slam. Something has happened here we don't know about it. Evidently, they're part and company right now. Is it a full moon or what? These wrestlers tonight and today are going crazy. Cookie Carlisle, Cookie Carlisle and Angie Manelli. The bell has sounded, wait a minute, wait a minute. The bell has sounded, well, wait a minute. The bell has sounded. She gets a double win over both of them. The winner of the match, Kathy Masters. Kathy Masters is, that must have been a wrong bell. I thought the match was over. Well, Angie Manelli says, tells Kathy Masters, you better remember that on your life. They're trying to call her back into the ring. What's going on here? Poor Kathy Masters, but double teamed. Angie Manelli saying, you're mine. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after this word. World Organization Wrestling is on the road and coming to your area soon. November the 28th, Daleville, Alabama at the Community Center. November the 14th, Valparaiso, Florida at the A.B. Lewis High School Gym. November the 10th, Citronelle, Alabama at the National Guard Armory. November the 7th, Grove Hill, Alabama at the Grove Hill High School. November the 6th, Belzoni, Mississippi at the Humphreys County Elementary Gym. November the 5th, Greenville, Mississippi at the Washington County Convention Center. Saturday night, October the 31st, Halloween, Op Alabama at the National Guard Armory. October the 27th, Mobile, Alabama at Expo Hall. It's a big MDA benefit spectacular. October the 26th, Sneeds, Florida at the Sneeds High School Gym. And October the 25th, Pensacola, Florida at the Pensacola National Guard Armory. WOW action will be coming soon to Nashville, Tennessee, Birmingham, Alabama, and Knoxville, Tennessee. So don't you dare miss the World Organization Wrestling in your area. Everywhere you look, products are packaged for value and convenience. It's true of donuts, bars of soap, cases of soda. Even long distance has been packaged for value and convenience. With AT&T's Reach Out America plan, it gives you long distance by the hour, not by the mile. Just phone 1-800-431-0600 to get an hour of AT&T calls every month all across the country to any other state all for our lowest price ever, just $8. You can call as far as Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, even Alaska. They're all packed into Reach Out America. So are your faraway friends and family. And you can talk to them all every month if you're willing to spend just $8. There's just one thing to remember. In order to get an hour of calls every month all across the country for just $8, you have to call during the plan's hours. But that's the easy part, because the plan is packed with hours. You get all day Saturday and Sunday until 5 p.m. 
So while you're relaxing on the weekend, you can relax on the phone. You can even call every night starting as early as 10 p.m. You can use your hour any way you like, and extra hours cost even less. It's all packed into Reach Out America. And it can be yours if you phone 1-800-431-0600. Do it now to get an hour of AT&T calls every month all across the country for our lowest price ever, just $8. There's even a way to get a 15% discount on calls as early as 5 p.m. To order the plan that could help your long-distance dollars go farther, call toll-free 1-800-431-0600. That's 1-800-431-0600. I'd like to order AT&T's Reach Out America. Call now and enroll in AT&T's Reach Out America, the long-distance plan that's packed with value and convenience. Because the hands on this watch are about to disappear. Now, look again. And they're back. Why do these hands disappear? Because they're not really hands at all. They're actually electronic pulses of light. Introducing the amazing laser beam wristwatch. Destined to become a legend in its own time, we believe it will soon be one of the most sought-after watches in history. However, as part of a special publicity campaign, we will send you one of these amazing new laser beam luxury watches. Not for the hundreds of dollars you might expect, but for only $10. But to get your amazing laser beam wristwatch for only $10, you must act now. If you call within the next 30 minutes, you can order a second laser beam watch for only $5, just half price. To order, call 1-800-423-7747. That's 1-800-423-7747. World Organization Wrestling this Sunday at the Pensacola National Guard Armory. The fabulous Fargos versus the Coastal Connection. Bob Holly up against Mike Boyette in a no DQ TV title match. Marcel Pringle versus Kenny Wayne, plus other great matches. And Tuesday night in Mobile at the Expo Hall, it will be Don Fargo versus Bob Sweethand and a six wrestler handicap match. Two men, four ladies, all will be in the ring, plus a full card. World Organization Wrestling, Sunday in Pensacola, Tuesday in Mobile. Bob Sweetan, you're in a barbed wire match in Mobile, Alabama on the 27th. I know you have some words you'd like to put across to the people. Bobby Perez, he's no longer around. Another member of the Coastal Connection, Chuck Wilson, he's no longer around. The man that caused all this, the man that's been famous for many years in the sport of professional wrestling, wild man Donnie Fargo. You're the cause of it all. And your opponent in Mobile that was scheduled for the match, he's no longer around. Where have all these people gone, Fargo? They're no longer around. Why? Because you have that little knot of fear in your stomach. Because you know that the only way to be successful is to hurt people and put them out of the sport of professional wrestling. I've been in all kinds of matches in my lifetime, but a barbed wire match never. That's right, Fargo. I've taken it upon myself to rid the sport of professional wrestling of you because it's not needed. Fargo, remember one thing. I'm a good old American boy, and I'm going to take up the flag for the people that have fallen before me. And let me tell you one thing. This man's not going to fall. I am going to defeat you in Mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, my special guest right now, World Organization Wrestling Champion, the United States Heavyweight Champion, Bob Holly. And Bob, I'm glad you come out today. There's a little six-year-old girl over in the front row. I want you to autograph your picture for her. And I told her I'm sure you'd do it for her. So please sign it to Angie. Wait a minute. I don't have sign the picture for me. Hey, the... I don't have time to sign any autograph Wait any a minute. little rug monkeys, or right whatever you call them, these little brats. I got other things right to worry about. So you can take this picture and tell that little girl to go take a hike. I gotta worry about Bob Sweetan or whatever you call it. She and paid Mr. a dollar Olympia, for this picture. I wanna tell you something. This belt belongs around my waist. So you people, like I said before, you get used to this pretty face because this belt right here goes with a pretty face because this is a pretty belt. And look at this body. Nobody can deny this body. 
You're a sick individual. How, that girl, that girl that paid a job. picture right here of Mr. Olympia, and you give it to the girl already signed, and it won't cost you a dime, and you better watch your step, Bob Holly. This is what I want, and I'm going to get it. You had no right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Olympia. Bob Holly jumped Mr. Olympia from behind. Wait a minute here. Out here on the arena floor, Bob Holly attacked Mr. Olympia from behind. I don't know, Bob Holly. I lost all my respect for you today. Throws Olympia in the ring, and now Kerry Booth's on top of him. As far as I'm concerned, Bob Holly, you don't never need to do another interview here on Wild Wrestling. There's no business for this. This girl paid a dollar for this picture, Juno. He comes out and rips it up. Now he's at ringside after jumping Mr. Olympia from behind. What's going on here? Bob Holly definitely is not the same guy that we knew eight months ago. He's not the, the wrestler that we knew eight, eight months ago. He's a lunatic ripping up a six-year-old girl's picture. She paid a dollar for that picture, and all she wanted was an autograph, and he rips it up. Ugh. I'll give this picture of Mr. Olympia to her, though. Gary Booth has Olympia up for a high suplex. On top of my cold, there's been so much action, I'm going hoarse. Ladies and gentlemen, please bear with me. But the action is just so hot here today. Bob Holly sure has made it easier for, for the opponent of, of, of Mr. Olympia right now. Olympia coming back, though, on him. Gary Booth still in this fighting. Olympia coming back here now. Beautiful back. Whoa. Stun Booth. Booth is down. Olympia's still a little groggy, too. Backs Booth into the ropes. Throws him across. Big elbow. Big elbow. Picks Booth up for a slam. How do you like that, Bob Holly? What's Bob Holly still doing out here? He's got no business in this match. He has no business ripping up people's pictures that they pay for. He has no business back, back uh, hitting Olympia or nothing else. High backdrop by Mr. Olympia on Kerry Booth. Bob Holly, the United States heavyweight champion. What a big power slam. There's Holly in the ring, wait a minute. Holly in the ring, down with an elbow and it misses. Olympia up with a drop kick. And Holly bails out. Olympia, small package on Kerry Booth. One, two, three. Olympia beats Kerry Booth right here. Well, I hope you're having a great day, Bob Holly. Whoa, what action. You got to give Olympia a lot of credit. He's wrestling one man, walking another man outside, and still comes out on top. Bob Holly goes back into the ring. That's the Olympian him going head to toe. Head to toe. Olympia's got Holly rocking. I'll pay him back for ripping that girl's picture. There's Holly across the ring. Big elbow. Mr. Olympia, a Bob Holly in the ring. Boy, that match would sell out any arena across the country. What action. I hate to be biased, but come on, Olympia. Yeah, Holly goes down. Ladies and gentlemen, we're running out of TV time for this week. What a day of wrestling it's been. See you next week.